Fusion, I put a post up uh, earlier. You may know me, I'm a, a huge advocate for professions and their rights. Non verbal. I love you too, sweetheart. Five times so far the, uh, the treatment has been discontinued and five times we've had to tell their children, my grandsons, um, that this could be it, this dad might not come out of this one. My name is Jason Frost. I served 16 years in the Australian Army. Medically retired in 2015, so when I got out, I got out with a few chronic conditions. Chronic depressive disorder, uh, PTSD, adjustment disorder. The first time I was truly suicidal was when I was on all the meds and when the meds were failing to work. And when I'd get to that black zone, that, that place where the pain absolutely takes over. There is no rational thought in your brain that you can access in that mode at any moment. My son Christopher was in the Australian Army. Um, he joined soon after he was 17, served in Timor, then he went to three tours of Afghanistan. He went for six and a half months at a time and um, he came back broken. As a soldier, you're part of a team. You're, you're fighting for the guy next to you, not just for your country. And you know, if you get discharged, you know, particularly for medical reasons, and you're disconnected from that, then people's sense of meaning and purpose is lost. Their sense of connection is lost. And what we're really trying to create here is a, is a place where that connection happens again. And that's connection with one another, where people can share some of their journey and help to heal. Uh, and then also where they can be connected to multiple services in one place. So what will we be doing here at, uh, at ProPatria? We'll be, we'll be offering transcranial magnetic stimulation therapy uh, to veterans. Uh, this is something that's supported by Medicare, supported by the DVA. We'll be offering access to esketamine nasal spray. What were you just saying to Daddy? I love you. Yeah. I love you, Daddy. We didn't know if the treatment was going to work or how well it was going to work, and we always knew it probably wasn't going to be a cure. Before Brad got into that chamber, he was in a wheelchair, basically, and I was there and I witnessed it. It was just beautiful. He got into the chamber, he got out, and he walked unassisted. Good morning, mate. Good to see you. Like within a week of doing that, we went to the park. He ran with his little three-year-old son for the first time ever. And he was playing and giggling and they all, but it was just, it was such a beautiful moment. We need to listen to our veterans. We need to listen to our first responders. We should be supporting ProPatria because we've placed our veterans in, and first responders in the line of fire and we've damaged them. We are desperate for these doctors to come here. The treatments are good and effective, but without the doctors or the support network to understand what it is that we is going wrong with us and what it is that we need access to to help us, we can't get full benefit out of these things. Chris has lost enough friends, enough mates, through suicide. Um, he was an elite team of 14 that was selected out of 100 that tried out special forces. 14 were selected, eight of them have committed suicide. He's been to too many funerals and I don't want to go to his. They supported our country, we now need to support them.